morning, Joe here from my uh, I Wonder UK, day 45 of the Southwest Coast Wife Challenge. I've had a luxury night. Today I'm going over the ferry over to Exmouth and trying to get to Auckland Point. So it's another planned short afternoon walk. See how we get on. The weather's cold outside, cloudy, but see how we get on. Oh yeah, just a quick recap because I realised I did it room. This is Jay, I wonder UK. It's day 45 of the southwest of Coast of Path. I'm leaving Dawlish this morning. I haven't done any recordings or any photographs because I was walking with my eight days. It's a straightforward walk. It's flat with a tiny little slope on the way. And you just walk out till you get to the ferry. Sorry, got distracted. What's that? Uh, yeah, it's a straightforward walk out to the ferry at Starcross, I believe. The thing I would note, it's £5 they took cash only, did they take a card, which is unusual. Every other one I've taken a card. I'm not trying to be sarcastic or cynical about the walk from Dawlish. It's just, like I said, I was distracted. Talk to me, my mate Dave. There's nothing extremely outstanding, but it wasn't unpleasant either. Uh, it's one of those weird days where you've got that mist coming in off the sea. But as you can see, I've only got a shirt in and it's undone and it's cooler now. But earlier, I was too hot. And I don't know why. I don't know if I'm having menopause or... I, I really don't know why, but I'm literally walking with a short shirt and I'm too hot even though the sun hasn't been out at all today. And it's not even that hot, it just feels close. It feels like, um, not hard to breathe, but getting that sort of way another reason why I've not been taking any pictures. The mist is actually clearing a bit now, but you couldn't see the ferry boat coming across. You can see the clearing on the beach. This is Exmouth now. But like I said, uh, you pay five pound to get the ferry over, has to be cash only. Get off the boat, turn right, and just keep the blue stuff inside. Yeah, while I think about it, um, Dawlish is worth exploring around for several reasons. It's one of those, um, it's not a harbour and it's not a seafront, it hasn't got a promenade, but it's a nice little, I'm not sure if it's a village or a town, but they've got like a river running through the middle of it. There's a fantastic cake shop that do monster sized cakes on the left hand side of the river as you go up, and I can't recall the name of it, I'll try and remember. And apart from uh, where they're doing massive amount of work for the railway, which is unavoidable because that is a link to the southwest, it's a lovely place. I'm trying to uh, push through at the moment a little bit, not pushing them for any other reason. My aim point today was Orkham Point, because I just wanted to get outside Exmouth. And I think I've said to you before, I had two days like this. One, when I went to Lou, where I planned in to, like a short day to finish early. So I could go home for the night, come back out the next day, because I didn't want to have a whole day off, because I find myself stiffening up too much. And I did the same today. The thing I'm struggling with, I left at lunchtime today and I really just, the only way I can describe it, I'm not feeling the walk. My legs don't seem to be working, my tendons are hurting, which is bizarre because I've had a luxury night in bed. Don't get me wrong, I call it a luxury night, but in all honesty, me and my girlfriend Elle, most of it is getting organized. It's getting the stuff out of the bag, taking the tent out, drying it, washing my clothes, restocking everything. So it's not like a luxury you finish and someone wheels your bag into a hotel and valets your car, but it's a luxury for me. But I just walked through and realized that I think it was four, four and a half miles and it took me two hours. And I was thinking, why am I walking so slow? This is flat. And I feel like disappointed with myself. And then from that, I got to the stage where I started feeling guilty because I'm just in Orkham Point and I thought, well, that's only down the road a little bit. I haven't done enough today. And I, I'd hopefully like to think that maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but I don't know why. And at the moment, I can't stop it. So what my intention is, is I'm going to keep aiming for Orkham Point. Hope that we're out of Exmouth far enough because it's like a esplanade, is that how they say it? I call it a promenade. 
type thing where you're walking down the road and they've got ice cream and crack for sale in little shops. And I'm hoping I get to there and there'd be like inspiration. Then I might walk a little bit further, but the weather looks like it's gonna turn the temperatures drop, so we'll see. I've uh, I've been trying to do like a self-analysis evaluation of thinking why is it I'm not feeling it today and I've, I've got to the stage where like I just said about the all I can't even remember the bloody name of the place Ormond Point or whatever it was and thinking oh, I haven't walked far enough and starting to feel guilty and then I've just noticed I thought oh those ice creams look lovely and I've walked past three ice cream shops and refused myself the pleasure of going and having an ice cream for a couple of quid and I do sort of recognise what that is now it's like um, I don't know like you're not worth it you haven't deserved you don't deserve an ice cream I'm 60 years old I've got two quid in my pocket go and buy an ice cream but I've just walked past three of them so I don't know I apologise for the rambling today there's not much picture but that's the view out to see you can just the sand's 40, maybe 50 metres wide, and that's all you can see. I'm not dissing Exmouth, it's just the Esplanade Nights, whatever the word is. You can see the mist coming in behind me as well, over my shoulder there. This is what it was like the first three days, so we'll see. Now that's an impressive lifeboat. Life saving boat, maybe call it a lifeboat. It's got its own tractor trailer. This is what I'm walking at. You can literally see the mist coming in off the sea now. Look over the little huts up there. You might be able to see it moving from right to left. And it's got moisture in the air now. I can feel my shirt starting to get damp. It's not raining, it's just moisture. And I don't think it's going to get any better. I was going to pitch there. Okay. Yeah.